Good morning, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be changing the uh, oil in my reliable uh, oil bath hubs that are on my easy loader trailer that I use. I have a 20 foot boat, aluminum boat and uh, I had about uh, 10,000 miles on the, on, the, on the oil and uh, several dunks in fresh water, handful into salt water, so I decided it was time to change the oil. And so I just was gonna give you my two cents on how I do it. I know there's a lot of confusion out there on the internet on how exactly to do this. So I was just gonna to explain to everybody how I do it. So I'm doing this by myself, so you're gonna to have to bear with me. So yesterday, I put this little catch basin on. It's 30 cents at Walmart each, a little duct tape, and I pulled all my hubs off all the trader wheels, all four of them. And then I let them drain overnight. That way I'm sure that all the oil has, has gotten out of them. Then the maintenance on these hubs, they do sell a wrench. Easy Loader does sell a wrench. Take these off. I use a pair of channel lock pliers. I put a little duct tape over them. Now I've already drained the oil in this one. I wasn't gonna bore you with that process. So I put a little duct tape to avoid marring my hubs. And you don't wanna use a lot of pressure taking these off. They are aluminum. I've heard horror stories about guys that have uh, cracked the sight glass doing this. And so I didn't want, I didn't want to do that to myself. So while I was uh, draining the oil, I went, I hope you can see that. That's the O-rings from uh, O'Reilly Auto Part. They're a 1 16th by two inch O-ring that uh, you can replace on the hubs. I don't believe in, uh, I'm a mechanical maintenance guy in back, my background, and I don't believe in reusing the uh an old o-ring i mean they're they're dollar 29 cents a piece they're readily available and you know last thing you want is a failure so when your hub is off there's thread in here there's a little seating surface for that o-ring so you want to get in there and do the best job that you can and and get all anything cleaned out from that seating surface. Oh, another important thing I failed to mention too, is when you first pull your trailer, get your wheel off the ground, is you wanna shake it. Make sure it's good and tight. If you've got over a 16th or eighth inch of a shake in it, then this is gonna turn into a bearing replacement, not just a lube oil replacement. So once I have a new O-ring in the hub, I've cleaned all the threads on it, and the Kenyan sight glass, these sight glasses are amber by design. They get kind of cloudy, hard to see out of after a while. And then I'm gonna just use Permatex Red RTV, picked that up at the same time I was getting the O-rings. And then I've got the bead cut fairly small on here. I'm gonna go around all above this O-ring. You get a good seal. I'm not a huge fan of using RTV, but I'm not a big fan of losing wheel hubs on the way to the fishing trip. And then take your finger and lightly smear this across the threads, kind of making sure that you get it down there on those uh on those old rings i'm gonna put just a little bit more in this one spot here and this is an aluminum to carbon steel fit so i always recommend kind of starting your threads by going backwards and then moving forward that way you'll kind of help cross threading these and then uh, just using my uh, my channel locks here again. And there is a torque value for this on the um, 
easy loader website. And, but you know, you're going against an O-ring. So there's no real need to be super, super tight on this. I mean, it's good and snug, don't get me wrong. But it's not, you know, you'll know. It's just, like I said, you're seating onto an O-ring. I've already taken the pleasure of loosening this little uh, plug in here. And uh, another thing that I want to mention, this is an eighth inch M uh, national pipe thread. So I've, I've heard stories of a lot of guys that have stripped these out and that's largely due to the fact that they put the wrong set screw. It's not a set screw, it's a plug. And uh, so you can, you know, you want to make sure you use that. And uh, some guys have had issues with getting them out because, you know, you do use thread locker on them. But just make sure that, you know, I wouldn't recommend drilling one out. If you get one that gets stuck, you, you've got a whole other uh, issue. Now for the oil I'm using is I'm straying away from the 70 to 80, 80, 90, you know, hypoid gear lube and stuff like that. I'm using a mobile SHC 150 synthetic gear oil. I work in a uh, power plant. We use this oil in uh, some of the biggest gear boxes that turn 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week, turning huge fans and stuff. And this is just an amazing product. I, I, I couldn't find it at any of the auto stores. So I went to the dealer that sells it to us and I did find it. Um, Easy Loader does sell a Clarion, or Clarity, I think it is, a 150 on their website, which is the Chevron equivalent of this, which is also a synthetic uh, 150 oil. But you don't want to get confused by the 150 because it's, it acts like a 150 weight, but it's going to pour about like a 50 weight oil. I bought this... Uh, Ketchup dispenser down at Walmart was a buck. And uh, anybody that has ever put in gear oil to one of these knows how difficult that is. So you can see, I can just gently squeeze this bottle. And if you go real slow, she won't burp up on you. She'll breathe on her own. Now, one of the keys to this is, is it takes a while to get from this fill hole back to the sight glass so you got to kind of put a little bit in and um and wait you know and then and, and another thing what you want to do while you're doing all this is you want to check for you know make sure you got it up get a flashlight make sure you have no seal leakage and stuff these uh bearings were replaced in um, 2018 new seals new everything and um I probably could have gone longer on this oil, but uh, I drive from Montana to British Columbia every year. Really don't want to um, have a breakdown and uh, along the way. I do carry a uh, extra hub with me. I think they were 120 bucks from Easy Loader. They come with the hub assembly, the uh, bearing seals, a new hub cap itself pretty good deal actually and uh good safety uh it's supposedly will fit either on the this is the brake side that's the free side it'll fit on either one and so my what i was thinking is if i ever lost this hub i would just you know if i lost my bearing side i would um just somehow you know rig the rotor up or the caliper up i mean and let that um just ride until I could get to a safe place. But it's, a, it's something you could do on the road fairly easily, you know, provided that you didn't um, do some very serious damage to your um, your bearing, you know, or your, uh, your spindle while you were, you know, when you lose your bearing. But the problem with these oil hubs is if you were to lose a hub along the way, that there's just not a lot you could do, you know, you wouldn't probably catch it in time so, you know, that's kind of one of the negative sides to these hubs. The positive side, they're very easy to make, you know, they're very easy to maintain. 
They do last an extremely long time. You know, the Easy Loaders claims that you can get 50,000 miles on these between changes, and I would have a tendency to agree with them given on the amount of time that we run that equipment at that plant. You know, we run that, um, well, that equipment will run for uh, eight to 10,000 hours between oil changes. And uh, so, like I said, this is a, a really good product. So I'm still waiting here a little bit for this to um, fill up. You know, if it, the, the nice thing about this is if you do happen to overfill it, it wouldn't be a uh, huge job to just turn it over and drain a little bit out. Not like gear oil where it absolutely refuses to come out. And another thing nice that I like about the way I did it with these uh, roaster pans is that oil drained, you know, my shop is heated. So that oil drained all night last night. So when, you know, when I got here, it drained out. It was, uh, there was no sign of water in it, which is another key indicator that it's time to probably, you know, do your bearings and seals, you know, but it was, uh, it was dark and uh, it was definitely dirty. I drove through some pretty high, uh, extreme uh, ambient temperatures last year taking the boat to British Columbia I was in you know some days that one day it was over 100 and something degrees so um, the bearings did get slightly warm but not not too horribly warm I try to check them every time I stop and it's a little too much Should do it right about there. So, Easy Loader recommends that there's a reliable uh, emblem, oval emblem on this front of this hub, and Easy Loader recommends that you're just right at the top edge of that emblem, which looks like I have, I've got it there. So, I'm going to stop. It's still kind of settling out. Then on this, putting this plug back in, I'm using, uh, excuse me, this uh, blue, uh, Threadlocker Blue Permatex product. Um, it's uh, a medium strength thread lock. Put a little bit on there. If you wanna get too crazy with this, You got big fat fingers. It's always fun to try to get these things in there. Yeah, it's three sixteenths Allen wrench. It goes in these uh, these plugs. Yeah, hopefully you don't have any trouble getting them out. These came out pretty easy. They had the thread locker blue on them. You know, the kind of Took a little bit and then they popped. I did have to um, use a cheater on one with my fingers crossed and it popped out all right. I had a friend that had his bind up and it took him a couple days. You know, you have to pull the hubs off and and uh, pull everything out because if you drill it, you know, you risk getting the, the uh, shavings from the drill bit down into the oil cavity. So there she is. I hope you can see that. I want to bring it over. I don't know how clear that's going to be, but it's just slightly above that reliant, uh, reliable uh, emblem. Like I said, this isn't rocket science. I think you'd be good with uh, a Hypoid 90 gear oil, um, uh, 80, 90 weight. I just decided this year to try the synthetic, given my luck that I've had with it uh, at my power plant. Thank you very much.